Hey everybody, it's Alara. Welcome back to my channel. This is uh, hopefully going to be a quick video. I had um, a comment, a question from Shauna from my beautiful cross stitch mess. She is in Belgium, which is why Belgium is showing on the screen here, um, of how to get past data for a temperature stitch. So I use Weather Underground and I, I wanted to make sure that this would be applicable for not just my location. So I have an Android. I do know this is on uh, iOS as well. So basically when you open the app, you will need to, um, I mean, you can set your, your location, but if you scroll down, you're going to find the maps catalog. Okay. And then you also need to search your location. And then you're going to find It'll, it'll pull up the nearest weather station to in their database, obviously, um, to your location. And then you just click on the station. Wait for it to load. <laughs> and then you scroll down until you get to this weather history. And then you can go into daily, weekly, monthly. Um, and then just choose your history and there you'll have it so and it should show like I'm I'm usually Fahrenheit and I didn't change my preference but because the local weather is now I do have trouble with seeing this so I just kind of highlight it and then I can see uh, that number a little more clearly um, that could be better depending on your screen capacity I haven't been able to figure that out, um, unfortunately, yet. Um, possibly even by tilting your screen, but I don't want to do that while I'm in the middle of recording. Uh, let's do weekly mode. What does that look like? Okay, so that will just give you a monthly. So you'll you'll have to do a daily if you want, obviously, a daily temperature stitch. And then, yeah, you'll want to refresh the view every time. But this will give you your local weather specific for that history, assuming that that weather station has been in existence for the date that you're you're looking for. So hopefully uh, this helps if you're looking for a, a way to get at your specific weather history. If you want to do a temperature stitch for, say, your, your kids or maybe your wedding anniversary or something like that. So I'm, I'm not... I'm not a, a affiliate for what weather underground. I've just found it's easiest for me to to go in here and and look. So, alrighty guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next regular video.